committee meeting, February 12, 2008. Uh, members present, yours truly, Mr. Silver and Mr. Hobbs. Item number one is a resolution authorizing the payment of Mr. Uh, Ms. Tony Martin and John Scott for legal fees and expenses incurred in civil suit number 229053. Motion? Move. Move. Second. 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 Question? Well, you want discussion? Yeah, that's a question. Uh, so I, don't, I don't know how we could pay a bill with a resolution without a contract. You pay a bill with an ordinance, but I don't think you pay it with a resolution. I'm on the committee. Can I say something? Of course. Are I mean, you finished, uh, mm -hmm. Councilor? Okay. The, uh, the reason I didn't vote is that I think it's irregular at this time since we have litigation pending, and I therefore feel that it would not be in the best interest of all concerned to resolve this in this manner. Question. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Mr. Sir. At this time. <coughs> okay. All in favor, aye. Opposed? Motion yeah. carries. Opposed? <coughs> Let direct reflect Mr. Silva. Item number two is a resolution requesting that RFPs be received for any and all professional service consultant agreements for the city of Alexandria. Uh, this was put on there uh, not to probably be as uh, inclusive as it appears to be, but I certainly think that we need to proceed uh, with uh, several categories. And the mayor, I think, uh, discussed this uh, during the very productive retreat that the uh, council joined in with. Uh, and uh, we had some detailed discussion earlier today, uh, mayor, on this. So uh, if you will, why don't we come back and come up with those things that we <coughs> that uh, We'd like to go out and do RFPs for and be in the interest of the taxpayers. Any questions on? Okay. No, I'll just lay it over. Come back. Uh, okay. Okay, item number uh, three is discussion establishing a committee for requesting for proposals for an internal auditor. I think we have a, a motion out there uh, on this. And, I don't know if we necessarily need a committee, but uh, we'll come back with maybe a solution to uh, have an audit. And this was something I also received a memo on, uh, from the mayor that uh, they're in uh, concert working with an uh, independent uh, company to do some uh, uh, spot auditing, if you will, uh, on uh, various areas within the city of Alexandria. I think it's something that's long overdue. I think we've taxed our finance director who does a fine job for us, but when you become a 230, probably $240 million uh, entity by the next uh, fiscal year uh, uh, rolling around, it certainly warrants us uh, being having, uh, at least having an opportunity to have someone in place to do uh, these type things suggested. And I also talked with uh, Mr. Ernest Sasser, who's our auditor, and he thinks it's a good idea as well as uh, the mayor and the uh, Director of Finance. Any questions on this? Yeah, I would recommend that we're not talking about a classified person, but just if we do something. But I think that both the, someone from Payne Ward and Harry and someone from your finance committee's public administration need to see what guidelines they might wish to have before they come back with any concrete recommendations. That's what we suggest. And that uh, certainly won't be a, a, a full time employee, so I think uh, 10 years to have someone that will contract with the city. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Item number four. To consider final adoption of the ordinance authorizing the 2007-2008 major budget amendment. That's book item number 23, if you will. And uh, our finance director, Mr. Crutchfield, who I've been meeting with, uh, has uh, this uh, in hand. <laughs> questions, comments? <laughs> You've had this for quite some time. Do yes, you want to uh, highlight any uh, particulars, uh, Mr. Crutchfield? Well, uh, I guess briefly uh, would just remind everyone that this is uh, something we do once a year to true up those uh, budget items that are estimates, such as fuel, telephone cost, uh, supplies, maintenance and repairs. 
uh, revenue items that may change and uh, change from our initial projections. Uh, at the bottom of page one of, of the uh, major budget amendment schedule is uh, the item for use of prior year revenues, which is our use of fund balance. And I'd like to point out that uh, we had budgeted uh, originally $6.9 million use of prior year revenues. And with the adjustments made in uh, this major budget amendment, we'll be reducing that uh, estimated use of prior year's revenues or budgeted use of prior year's revenues by $3.1 million. Will you repeat that? Uh, <coughs> that's for the benefit of the public. Right. We will be well, reducing the use of prior that, year fund balance. And this will be used before the year is out? Uh, well, with only uh, a couple of months left to go, I think these estimates are, are fairly accurate. And, uh, in fact, we probably will see a, even less of a, an improvement over that because that assumes full expenditure of everything that's remaining. And uh, we know we have a lot of job vacancies, so that salary attrition for the last few months, this reclaims the salary attrition for the first uh, seven months of the year, fiscal year, but uh, the remaining salary attrition would be reclaimed at the end of the fiscal year. So. Is this what you're talking about? It, let me, if let me speak to attrition, by the way. If, if you read the budget, we note that the probably the numbers appear to be somewhat uh, high in uh, public safety when you look at the overtime. I think it's a, a situation where we certainly have not had all the positions full filled, and uh, I think that uh, they certainly worked hard. Not only that, with the firefighters and public works as well. Uh, I want to commend uh, uh, the administration on not just jumping in filling positions. There are several positions in there that you can probably just fill uh, willingly and not necessarily because of uh, a delay in uh, getting folk hired. I think that uh, folk are taking prudent looks at whether these positions ought to be filled. And I think that's good and I want to commend, as I mentioned earlier, the administration and, uh, and also in the preparation of the MDI. I would, uh, Mr. Chairman, like to mention well, some things specifically, the last page that you have is an addendum uh, to the original uh, major budget amendment that we sent down. And the major item on that page uh, I'd like to point out is the addition of $100,000 funding to a capital project for the Ruston Foundry site. I think that's been discussed in some council meetings, but I wanted to let you know that that funding is included in here. Ms. Brights, uh, it's the, it that should be the last page, Mr. Silver. Okay. Hundred thousand dollars, Mr. Smith. Here's a copy of it, Mr. Silver. Casey. The rest of the time. Okay. Any other questions? One more question. Yes, sir. Are you through? Unless anyone has questions about uh, the document. The only question I have is reviewing what we've done to date. Are you cognizant of areas where we have significant weaknesses that may have to be adjusted so that you and administration can make the necessary corrections to finish out our year? Uh, this document should make those, uh, those adjustments to get us through the year on uh, those variable items. Anything that's unforeseen, of course, uh, we would come back to the council for an additional amendment. If an unforeseen circumstance arises, I'm not sure if that answered your question. No, I would like to hear something, not, it, it's tied to the uh, <coughs> MBA, but I, I would like to hear a follow-up on our workforce and how we're doing. I'm very concerned because I'm hearing small businesses starting to complain about finding workforce and uh, where we are on there and maybe how we need to uh, deal with it as a whole within the city. <coughs> Any other questions? Yes, I do. Uh, Ms. Crestfield, on page 10, uh, could you explain uh, some of those items to interest on sinking funds uh, in relationship to the uh, major budget amendment. That would be on uh, page 10, uh, under investment income. You have two line items that illustrates that. In, uh, interest on sinking funds, investment income. Let's see. Oh, okay, bonds. I see. I'm sorry. Under, under bonds. Um, well, that's, that's an item that we don't know. We always estimate conservatively on what our 
the interest revenue would be on the money we set aside to make our bond uh, principal and interest payments, our debt service payments. And uh, as the year progresses and we know, we, we find out what the interest rates are running, then we make adjustments to that interest revenue. Um, and, and we amend it into the budget, usually at major budget amendment time. But that's just uh, bringing to actual our estimates of interest earnings in those sinking fund accounts. Thank you. I remember five years ago, the city was projected to be broke. <laughs> Interestingly enough, uh, how are we doing financially, uh, Mr. Director? <laughs> uh, I actually, <laughs> do I have to say it? We're doing, we're doing uh, the financial condition of the city is, is good. Uh, fund balances uh, was around 20 million. We've projected, as I mentioned in this budget, a use of prior year fund balance of about three and a half million. So uh, 16 and a half. 17 million is the budgeted fund balance at the end of the year. And that number can be misleading because we have a lot of obligations. I get warned every time I <coughs> see that figure float out there, $17 million, because we have a lot of things pending. A lot of them may be illegal that uh, we may have to utilize some of those funds. So, uh, but the bottom line is even considering our uh, liabilities, we're pretty flush uh, and able to carry out uh, how uh, this is prescribed by the charter. Right. And I would like to keep that in perspective. Our general fund budget is approaching $60 million a year. So, uh, you know, we have less than four months uh, of expenses in, in cash or in, uh, in fund balance, which is, is great. And, uh, but it's not uh, excessive. Okay. We're vulnerable if we're not careful. Any questions? All right. Thank you again. Mm -hmm. Okay. A motion uh, by Mr. Hobbs, uh, second by uh, the illustrious Mr. Harry Silver. Any other questions? Hearing none. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carries. Number five. Any other business needs to come before the Finance Committee meeting? Hearing none. Meetings adjourned. Thank <laughs> you.